Hey, what's up, everyone? How you doing? It's me, Mr. 4K Upscaler. You know what? Gamefly, it's not so bad, after all. And I just want you to hear me out on this video. Regardless of what your opinions might be, I know that everyone has an opinion these days. It is what it is. I'm just kidding. Of course everyone has an opinion. So do I. It's a part of a human nature. And just because someone has an opinion doesn't mean you should cancel him, okay? Or cancel her, or vice versa. But unfortunately, we live in that kind of a time. If your opinion doesn't match someone else's opinion, then that opinion gets canceled. All right. Gamefly. Here's what I think. First of all, I'm not sponsored by Gamefly, but even if I was, I would still tell you honestly how I feel about it. Gamefly has been around for about, give or take, 17 years, right? That's as far as I can remember from 2005, 17 years. Uh, they've been around for a long time. Sure, they had some problems, they had some issues with... Uh, inventory the games were not available uh, and that was one of the biggest problems that I had with the game fly is you were never able to find the game that you wanted and that was one of the biggest issues one of the biggest problems however fast forward 17 years 2021 things are a bit different they do have different types of membership one in particular called the Elite. And the Elite definitely gives you uh, a better option, meaning that you're going to be more prioritized when you are an Elite. So when you are renting games, when you are uh, putting the games in queue, uh, they will prioritize you first, other than those one who are just a standard membership which makes sense you know if you are in a vip you should be treated as a vip if you're not a vip well you know maybe you should upgrade um so gamefly recently i resubscribed to them and i got a couple of games i got fifa i got far cry 6 i was able to try them all out I also tried um, Metroid Dread, uh, and uh, I was glad that I was able to try that out. It saved me a bunch of money. All of these games, you know, Metroid Dread, um, Far Cry 6, NHL, you know, um, even The Lost Judgment, which I got today, all of these games are saving me money uh, by Gamefly. You know, you don't realize. $60 here, $70 there, $80 there. All that stuff adds up. And next thing you know, you're like at $250 a week. $250 a week, man. You could be driving like Mercedes-Benz, like... SLK or, or CLK or one of those, you know, high-end class cars, the kind of money you're going to be spending a month just buying these games. I'm not kidding. Do the math. You, you could be actually, you know, getting some really good uh, puze, puze, you know. No, really, uh, the puze, I can't say the S word, but puze would be jumping on your lap when they see you driving the Mercedes-Benz, you know? Uh, that's, I'm just putting things in perspective here. This is my analogy, okay, it is what it is, but it's a truth analogy. Just hear me out. Um, I'm about, listen, everybody wants to save money. Who doesn't want to save money? Don't tell me you don't want to save money. That's a bunch of balone. Everybody wants to save money. And I got to tell you, man, with this, I'm definitely saving money. It takes about four to five days. Dude, I can wait four days. I was able to return the game and get game shipped 
within four days. And I got the game within four days. That's not bad. That's not bad at all, dude. I can wait four days. I'm busy as it is, you know, so I can wait four days. So I got the uh, Lost Judgment and uh, Tales of Arise within four days while I was shipping the other two games, including the uh, Metroid uh, Dread. Yes, I had to return the uh, Metroid Dread, of course, as you'll know why. And uh, maybe I should talk in the uh, that Knives Out Mr. LeBlanc voice, as you'll know why, I return. <laughs> Hold on. I return the Metroid Prime, and I got the other four games included by the end of this week. Now, I'm wondering, who would have hired me? Who would have sent me these four games? Red. Anyway, because there is a donut hole within the hole, and there is another donut hole inside the little hole. You guys haven't seen the Knives Out? Man, you gotta watch the Knives Out, dude. Daniel Craig is a funny fucking guy, man. Seriously, he's a funny guy. I heard a lot of people tell me he's a funny guy, and he is. You just didn't know it. Um. So anyway, by the way, Daniel Craig. He lives in America now. He lives in Brooklyn with his wife, uh, Rachel Wises. They live up there uh, in Brooklyn. Uh, so pretty cool, man. Anywho, see the Knives Out. It's included with Amazon Prime. It's a great movie. Go see it, man. Let's get back to uh, Gamefly. Um, so I want to give a shout-out to uh, my friend Brendan. You know, I was very skeptical and I told Viper and, and Rob and everybody, I was a bit skeptical about the Gamefly because I had a not-so-great experience in the past with Gamefly. But things have changed. The things have changed in about 17 years. So things have changed. And uh, I got to tell you guys, uh, Gamefly, at least for me, uh, it's working now. I've been getting these games. I was able to try um, Metroid, Dread, uh, FIFA, Far Cry 6, now Lost Judgment, which I will do today. Um, the Tales of Arise. Uh, I also got... Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention. There's this other thing called the Game Lock. You get to lock the game. And you get to have it delivered to you as soon as possible. So um, the game lock, it's another feature. For example, uh, let's use Battlefield. That's the game that I have game locked. Battlefield 2042 for the, uh, the Xbox Series X. Because that's where I'm going to be playing. Battlefield 2042. Because majority of my friends are on the Xbox and I don't have to worry about whether or not am I going to get that game day one. I will get it day one on the release date because I have this feature called the game lock. You just have to make sure that you return the games, that you return one game that you have so they can send you that game that's on a game lock okay let's say you have two games that you have you need to send one game prior to uh the week of the release of that game that you have game locked and then they're going to ship you that game in this case battlefield 2042 so technically by november 11th and 19th i have to ship send the game that i have to them so they can send me the Battlefield 2042. So anywho, I don't mean to drag this video any longer than it needs to be. Gamefly, it's definitely, in my opinion, worth it. Especially if you have Nintendo. There's a bunch of Nintendo games. Uh, they got... Oh yeah, you can... 
here's another thing. You can keep these games for half the price. I could have kept Metroid for like uh, $30, $39 instead of paying $60. I could have kept it for $39. They have these discounts. They have the, uh, the rewards. You can buy these games cheaper if you like them. So there's definitely um, caveat. There is a caveat in there. And I believe that's what I mean when I say that there is a, a donut hole inside a hole. And that donut hole, it's the game fly. Anyway, I'm not doing a judgment on this uh, Mr. LeBlanc. Blanc. Uh, French Southerner voice. <coughs> Anywho, if you see the movie, you'll know what I'm talking about. So, in closing, yes. Gamefly will save you money on the video games. You just have to have a little patience. Okay? I mean, if you can't wait four days, then what the hell? You know, I would rather wait four days than to be wasting 150 or $250 a, a week buying a bunch of these games. They're like $80, you know, $60, $70. All that stuff adds up, guys. You don't realize it, but all that adds up because, you know, if you had a calculator with you and every single time you purchase these games, you would be terrified how much money you spend. Like I said, you could be driving a Mercedes-Benz. Yeah, you could easily lease. If you can spend 250 a week, then you can spend $600 a month or $700 a month to lease one of these Mercedes-Benzes, right? You could easily lease them and, and drive around and just show you know show off, whatever, uh, and get the poozay. Poozay! So, anywho... I hope you enjoy this video. Um, I recommend it. If you want to save money, I'm telling you, Gamefly right now is the best way to go. I was wrong about the Gamefly. The company has changed. They're definitely better now, man. And I can confirm this because I'm not sponsored. I'm unbiased. Uh, I'm independent. And I'm just telling you my experience. Guys, uh, they're definitely getting better, uh, and uh, I'm very satisfied, and uh, that's all I have to say about that. All right, guys, I'll catch you later. Take care.